Welcome to Ask Jay, episode 43. What's today's date, Chris? Today's date is the 3rd, December 3rd. December 3rd? So I think it's, it's a 44 then? I'm usually a day above the day. Uh, I'm going to say it's episode 43. Sure. Oh, yeah, it is 43. Yeah, 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 because the, the clock passed 12. So it's not really the 3rd to us, it's really the 2nd. So anyway, welcome to Ask Jay, episode 43. I'm Jay Morrison, and I'm gonna hop right into it because my phone only has 10%, probably like 8% battery left, and I don't want it to cut off. Cut off. I'm not doing this again tonight. So, a motivational message of the day comes from a Jay Z line in the song "Guns and Roses," where he said, "I got my shades on, waiting for the sun to shine my way. I got my boombox, suntan lotion, waiting for action. They say when you play with skills, good things that happen. Let's go." And I was saying that to say is that no matter how gloomy your days are, because there are going to be some gloomy ones, I get them every couple months. I get like a span of three gloomy days. And every time I get them, I know that after my three gloomy days are up, I got some great days coming. And so that's my whole point is just put your shades on, wait for the sun to shine your way, get your boom box, your suntan lotion, waiting for action, because you are playing with skills and good things will happen. You know what I'm saying? So I want all you guys, when you go through your bad days, man, put your shades on and your suntan lotion and just know that your day is coming and stay in your grind. So let's hop into our five questions. Chris, what we got? Yeah, yeah. YouTube. And our first question is, how do you feel about probate investing in wholesale and wholesaling real estate? Do you think it's the easiest way to wholesale? Um, I haven't been a probate when I was actively involved in wholesaling, that wasn't the method that I used. But I know that one of my top protégés, Brandon Wigley down in Atlanta, kills him off probate. Like he's the probate king, and that's what all he does is probate. And I've got other good feedback on probate. So <clears throat> it would be something I would say that I would recommend, because I have a lot of students, protégés have a lot of success with this. So yeah, I think it's good. And probably one of the leading ones for wholesaling. All right. I did better with filter sources, but that's another subject. Go ahead. <laughs> Question number two is from YouTube again. Marcel Jackson, besides referrals, what was your primary lead source as a real estate broker? Ooh, besides referrals. Um, my own advertising. Um, doing seminars, I think, was one of my bigger ones. And mailers. Mailer marketing and seminars was my primary lead source as a realtor. Yep. I see you, Marcel. I see you working. You've been consistent. Good stuff. Next question. Next question is from Instagram at CEO268. Do you need to open a bank account for a holding company? Well, if your holding company does not have a bank account, what the hell are you holding? <laughs> you ain't holding nothing. That's a problem. So, do you need to? I don't think you necessarily need to have a bank account for a holding company or any company. You can but, have a bank account probably for every company that you have. What is that? You need to have a bank account for every company that you have? I mean, you should. But I'm saying, like, do you need to? Like, does... Like, are you against the law if you don't know? But... Should you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so yes, you should have a bank account associated with every one of your businesses because you expect to make money at some point and money to be deposited somewhere. So yeah. Very question. All right. This I'll, just be, I'll just be. just be a technical. <laughs> I, I agree. Come on, CEO two sixty eight. You gotta get it together. <laughs> CEO in it. All right. Twitter. Oh. Fama 311, why do you like to collaborate with Ad, with Ask J? That doesn't make sense to me. Why do you like to collaborate with Pound Ask J? Maybe it's who do uh, I like to collaborate okay. with. There we go. Who do you like to collaborate with? Uh, who? I like to collaborate with other like-minded individuals who see the bigger goal of working together and are past ego and posture and all that other kind of stuff and just... 
want to be good people giving good energy and good information or good experiences to other good people. Like, you know what I'm saying? I like, like people that are just authentic, like 100. Like, that's why I love, like, Tamika Mallory, my son, um, Carmen Perez, like, my, my, my King Raspy Rawls. I like Mark Whitten. We haven't done um, our business collaboration yet, but I think he's a real good brother. We got good energy. Just good people, man. Good people that ain't got no bullshit with them. I like those people to collaborate with. And just to be around, period. Next question. All right. And last question is from Facebook. Blake Reed. Do you believe in someone becoming an overnight success? Uh, I mean, you could hit the lotto and be overnight success financially. Or, I mean, it can happen. I don't believe overnight success is what people most people think that it is. Usually it's like a five to ten year success that you just heard about overnight where they've been grinding for a minute so a lot of times you'll hear somebody out of the blue it's out of the blue to you because you don't know their backstory you haven't been on their grind so that's usually what it is but there are sometimes people that haven't been on their grind and just overnight caught the right one so yeah well we're done episode 43 of the ask j show thank y'all for rocking with me um, I see a lot of you guys signing up for the Academy, the Wealth Mastery course with all six courses over 18 months. So those of you who haven't seen or heard about that, make sure you're on the email list at jmorrisonacademy.com or jmorrison.net um, or pick your individual courses, the commercial real estate course, residential real estate course. You all should learn that. You should know that in your lifetime or the credit mastery course or the stock and finance course or the business startup course or the business mastery course. These are things you should know. You should want to know. You should be excited to want to know these things and learn from someone that obviously can relate a message well to you and teach you well. So, um, again, the world is open, J. Morrison Academy. Uh, make sure you like this video. Make sure you share it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Comment below. And I'll see you guys on episode 44 tomorrow. We'll be back. And I got a ton of new videos on my YouTube channel, as you probably already know. I'm about to flood YouTube with education and good content. All right, peace. Wealth Builders, JMA.